I'm Nathan Ayrton, Business Unit Manager for Process Heat with the Valen Corporation, and I'd like to welcome you to our ongoing video series on thermal process improvements. In this video, we will be focusing on how to increase productivity, which is a key initiative for any company wanting to increase market share in today's challenging economy. Here, we will be focusing on the Wattlow Aspire Power Controller and its role in helping to increase productivity. The Aspire is Wattlow's most innovative power controller. Its features include heater bakeout, an amazingly easy to use interface, enhanced serviceability, and it can be configured from a USB. The Aspire is optimally designed to get your plant up and running fast, reducing installation and startup time, and especially reducing downtime of large heater systems. Let's get into it. Electric heaters are hygroscopic, which means they can suck water right out of the air. Heaters that have been in storage for extended periods, or even high temp heaters that have been out of commission during a shutdown, can absorb enough moisture to create a path to ground, thus shorting out the heater and rendering it useless. This can be easily tested with an ohm meter. If your heater is wet, you can send it to Valen and our well-trained team can bake it out in one of our ovens, sending it back to you with a complete diagnostic report and a solid mega ohm reading. However, this does take time, and if you're in a tight turnaround, time could be a luxury you can't afford. The Wattlow Aspire has a built-in heater bake-out function that can save you a great deal of time when commissioning either a new heater or one that has been in storage. Simply switch the Aspire into bake-out mode, and it will gradually increase the power applied to the heater, slowly warming it up without applying sufficient voltage to arc to the sheath. Soon, your heater will be warm and dry and ready to go back to work at full capacity. I've been on countless job sites where a heater has been decommissioned for a long period of time and has absorbed enough moisture to be considered wet. The operators either A, fire it up and blow out the heater, or B, spend days wrapping the heater in blankets, trying to force the moisture out through the terminal pins. This is a long and painful process that can be dramatically shortened by using the heater bakeout function on the Aspire. How does Wattlow do this? Most SCRs are fixed time-based zero-cross controllers. In a fixed time-based control scheme, if the program calls for 25% power, the SCR will be on for, say, one second and off for three. Over the course of four seconds, this equals 25% power. However, the SCR is applying full voltage for this one second, and that is enough time for the voltage to follow the moisture path through the magnesium oxide and short out the element. Most of us are used to 60 Hertz, meaning the sine waves oscillate 60 times a second. When the Aspire switches to heater bakeout mode, that sine wave is interrupted every half cycle and allows for zero potential to the heater during the rest of that cycle time. Even though we're applying full voltage, the incredibly fast flicker limits the ability to get through that soggy insulation, thus gently warming the heater without shorting it out. When installing a new SCR power controller, or when troubleshooting an existing one, the process can be complicated and confusing. Oftentimes there's a row of lights or diodes with little or no indication of what those lights mean. Does a lit red diode indicate an alarm condition? And if so, what kind of alarm? Or does it mean that the SCR is energized and power is flowing through? Owner's manuals are long and take time to download and scroll through, especially on a job site. By contrast, the Aspire has a backlit user interface screen with instructions and error codes in plain English. This makes it easy to set up, easy to program, and a snap for diagnostics. Don't want to use the interface screen? No problem. You can also connect the Aspire to your laptop and use Wattlow's Easy Configurator to set up the controller in minutes. In my many hours of troubleshooting power controllers, I've come to appreciate the value of easy to use diagnostic tools. Oftentimes it ties back to the setup. The SCR is looking for zero to five volt DC and you're feeding it four to 20, something along those lines. That's really hard to tell from dip switches and small red diodes. The Aspire, either through the display or by connecting it to a computer, solves this problem in a matter of seconds, increasing throughput and getting your plant back up and running faster and with less hassle. Here's a pro tip for you. For scenarios where you have multiple Aspire units, you can also upload the recipe from one Aspire into a USB drive and then download that recipe into the other controllers simply by plugging the USB in and importing the parameters. At Valen, we're committed to helping our customers increase efficiencies and understand the importance of getting your plant up and running as quickly as possible. Please call us with all of your process heat and control questions 
at 855-737-4718 or email us at processseedsupport at valen.com. Thanks again for watching.